Yo guys, what's up? My name's Jess. Should you pick up the lift monks? Now or later? Well, it all boils down to if you're coming from a point A to point B, and it's along the way, so then yes. But you should not be actively doing it without an actual good mount. A mount that you can access in the early game is known as the Van Worm. He's practically, basically noob friendly. He's the slowest flying mount in the beginning, but once you slot in some good passives, try to get a passive that's runner, swift, or nimble. Any of them will make your journey faster, okay? With that being said, he can be found in this general area. And now we're gonna do a little test run. So here I am just flying around and, uh-oh, what's this? I spot something in the distance. A lift monk, look at that glowing thing. I missed that and I'm endgame. So this is the speed at a maxed out. It really for us that doesn't matter at all, but when it comes to movement speed, but he's legend. Um, Swift, Nimble, and Runner. So that's four movement speed perks. He is really fast, but look at this. I'm trying to get on the stupid ledge and it won't work because I'm too fat. My bird is too fat. So that's one sort of predicament that you can be in when you have, you know, the flying mount. Even even the smallest ones, the beacons, you're still gonna run into the same issue. All right, well, anyways, this is the end game mount known as Jet Rag and your axe is level 50. He's very fast. Uh, I don't really have any passives for movement speed on him except for legend that you innately get. So here's the deal, I'm gonna, in the next couple minutes, we're gonna showcase some more footage about the methods of transportation to, to navigate yourself from point A to point B, and if you end up finding some uh, lift monks along the way, go for it. But who am I to say what you can and can't do with your time? You know, it's your own time. So anyways, let's get started. All right, so the following, here we go. Number one is running. You are essentially the slowest ever <laughs> when it comes to transportation. I would not recommend it. I mean, obviously you can speed it up with um, rolling. Number two is van with no passives. We have no movement speed passives. We are, so, uh, we are a slow little ducky. We are sprinting and we are nowhere near as fast as what we would be if we had movement speed passives. So, van worms, you gotta hunt for those passives, buddy. And then breed them all together. Okay, number three is slingshot methods. You need to have four grappling guns. Okay, you don't really need to have any offensive stuff because you're just gonna be looking to transport yourself. And so you really just want to try and get yourselves a Hongyu because Hongyu has the innate ability to, you know, elevate yourself immediately upon a slingshotting. And um, yeah, honestly, it, it's 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 one of the more uh, stable forms of gliding compared to all the other four, uh, three methods of gliding. So yeah, that's number three. Number four is Fanglobe. Fenglope, or I like to call him Fenglope, is relatively fast. He's this—he's probably the fastest ground mount. I mean, people have said Necromius is, but I have had negative uh, performances with him. So yeah, Fenglope is pretty darn fast. And then the fastest one, level uh, number five, is Jet Ragon. Now he's end game level 50. You're not gonna get him early on. But Fenglope is level 26. Let me just say that one. But yeah, Jet Ragon. Once you get to the late game, this is when I would be personally going out to fetch all of the lift monks because uh, you know you don't really need lift monks early on until late game when it actually matters because those pals hit hard and you know if you don't capture them they can wipe you out you know so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video my name is jess please leave a like and subscribe like for to see you guys in the next one peace